we started running and at this moment a huge crowd started running as well to, to the same area and I told my friend listen we can't run with the crowd because if there's a, a terrorist right now chasing them we need to avoid a big crowd because you will keep going after them so we started running around looking for places we hit between some uh, trees the gunshots were really loud and really close I could hear the gun's chamber going back against the gun like it was this close at this moment, I, I thought that this is it. We're not going to survive this. We were getting shot at at this point. I could hear the bullets whistling when they passed by, and we did see a big amount of bodies. When we were there, we are hearing terrorists passing by. We were hearing them laughing. We were hearing them talking. I could even hear their footsteps. We were like not moving a muscle, not even breathing, because we knew that if we did something wrong, this is it. This is the end for us. We could end killed or even worse, kidnapped. Luckily, luckily, they never saw us. He messaged me, listen, stay safe, stay put, stay hidden. I'm coming to get you no matter what. I'm getting you out safely. And I could never be enough thankful for what he did for us. He risked his life to save us. He drove us to a safe place. This is how, by some sheer luck and miracle, we survived this. And from what I've heard, other stories around, this is the lightest story there is. After this incident, Hamas must be erased. The stuff they did is unimaginable. Like, the act of monsters. I also feel sorry for the Palestinian people over there at Gaza because they are suffering because of Hamas right now. Hamas don't care about anyone, not even the people in Gaza or the West Bank. They care about eradicating the Jewish people that are in Israel. I know that everyone wants to live peacefully, provide their family, love each other. No one wants to fight. War is bad for both sides. 